दिन शगना दा चढ़या सखियों बेड़ा सजया बेड़ा सजया नी बेड़ा सजया मिलन बधाइया नी सजन डोली हाँ सजन डोली लैके आना नी बेड़ा सजया Oh, nice. Thank you so much for that lovely song. Neha Basin, welcome to CNN News 18. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Glad to be here. Neha, that was of course your new song titled Dil Shagnada, which has a re resemblance to the already famous uh, song of the same name. But the lyrics are new by Ms. Gariman. And it's yes. composed by Samir Samiruddin. Yes. What was it that you wanted to say with this song, Neha? See, folk is folk is a tale, and uh, it's a tale that people tell at different eras, and that's how folk has become a storytelling. I wanted to tell my story or the story of many uh, young brides or women, uh, you know, before they get married, what do they really feel, or uh, anyone who's leaving a life behind to have a new one. You know, even when I started my career, because for me there is a sort of a a correlation to that feeling. When you leave home, it's a sort of a bidai, whether for a girl or a guy. And I wanted to walk people down the the lane of nostalgia, of the love that we that we find in, at a home, or the, the love that parents give us before you walk out that door and you know kind of never look behind and walk to another life. So for me, I wanted to tell that story. Then Shagna, in general, is a is a folk that is uh, sung on the day of a celebration, especially on a wedding. Calling out to everybody, saying that I'm ready, and I'm ready for my. But my, who my mahi is, or sajan is, I'm ready for him, and I'm calling out to all her friends and family for celebration. So you know, just keeping that tradition going, I wanted to also kind of give an ode to my parents or all parents, and also bring in the feeling, like I said, of कुछ छूट जाता है, कुछ मिल जाता है, you know. So that's that's the tale I'm trying to tell through Din Chala. You know, like you said, the song has this slightly melancholic feeling to it. It yes. talks about the internal pain of 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 a bride of the girl who's leaving her parents' home. Yeah, is this the final version that you all uh, uh, that you have come up with, or were there or were there more versions that you tried, which were a little slightly maybe upbeat? No, but Din Chakna is actually not an upbeat song in general. It's not like it. It's it's an it's a it's a I would say it's a it's a song of celebration, but It's more of a calling out. It's not a Vidai song. It's not a Madhaniya. So it's not. It's not supposed to be melancholic. Ours is a bit bittersweet, uh, intentionally so, uh, because like I said, when you walk down the aisle, everyone feels a strange emotion, this bag of emotions. You know, it's not just hey, I'm going to do something new. I'm going to get married. It's also like I'm getting married. Like this is a new life I'm embracing. I'm I'm a grown person today. I'm. It's like adulting. So. Uh, No, we didn't make many versions, and honestly, I never do. For me, I'm, I'm like, I'm very sure of usually what I want. It's very rarely when I feel like it's not landing, and I also feel that if you do it with your mind, like as a team, if you allow each other, like whether it's the writer, the composer, the singer, if you allow everyone to flow and bring in a piece of them in the song, I think it always turns out better than you just kind of putting it on a board. And like, it's not a business meeting, you know. It's, 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 it's creative. So. Uh, कभी कभी होता है कि वर्ड्स फ्लो नहीं कर रहे या कोई म्यूजिक फ्लो नहीं कर रहा तो यू डू दोस माइनर चेंजेस बट बहुत सारे टाइम्स इट्स जस्ट लिटरली एन एबिन फ्लो ऑफ सॉर्ट्स एंड यू नो यू जस्ट लेट द सॉन्ग लैंड वेयर इट वेयर इट नीड्स टू जस्ट डाइग्रेसिंग अ लिटिल बिट बट स्टेइंग विद द म्यूजिक देन डू यू सिंग इज देयर अ फार्मूला टू मेक अ हिट हिट सॉन्ग नॉट रियली देयर इजंट बिकॉज़ सी एवरी एनीवन हु मेड अ हिट फर्स्ट वाज ए फर्स्ट And when we try to follow that formula, then we are just the second or the copy of that. Uh... But कभी कभी एक feeling आ जाती है when you're doing a song, when you're singing it, and you feel if you're feeling good about it, I think you kind of know this is going to translate. But I feel when you're not feeling good about it and you're forcing something, see you can generate a hit. It's not like you can't. But then those songs don't last. The songs that eventually become like a lifetime kind of songs is songs that grow on people and takes time. Sure, sure. You know your YouTube channel is filled with many Punjabi folk songs. Yes. I really like the song "Kut Kut Bajra" and "Jutti Meri." 
Thank you. So what triggered this idea of revisiting your roots when you decided to devote your time and energy in 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 these Punjabi songs? You know, I I feel a bit of destiny, like so to speak, because uh, I've I've said this very often. I'm not I'm no folk singer. I'm no traditional singer. I'm a pop star. I'm a bona fide pop star. I was trained for that. I was born for that. And how did I land up doing traditional music is something that still baffles me. But I feel so so one with it that there is no way I can explain it. You know, it's not something I ever dreamt of doing or wanted to do also. Uh, but once I forayed into onto that path, it's like as if the path was calling out to me more than me calling out to the path. And there's a lesson I've learned from that. Like all the dreams that I saw for for myself as a musician, I, I've often found those things being elusive to me. You know, as if I'm chasing it and it's running away from me. And this is the path I didn't chase, and it kept coming to me. So uh, now I've just I just call it destiny. I think uh, also some maybe roots calling out DNA. Uh, you know, as a musician, we all have, a, or as an artist, we all have a certain responsibility. Like, you know, you live your dream, but I think you have a voice. You have something that you can give back to the society. You can give back to your culture, to your heritage. And I think somewhere, I think maybe this is the part I'm meant to play. Like, that's what I genuinely feel. So I'm just doing that. You're talking about revisiting your route, like you said. So do you do additional research about finding out what was the, or what could be the origin of this song? or how this must have born, or various versions of it? I don't. I'll be honest with you. I think my roots for me are my mother, and my yeah. nani, and my dadi, and I don't want to go beyond that because I don't want to corrupt my 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 process. Belief is you know, I don't want to see who's done what version or what has happened. I actually have not heard any of the versions, except for what I may have already heard. So I want to, it to come from a more organic place. So, you know, I kind of feed off what my mother tells me. I feed off what Samir wants to do for the music. So it's a very organic process for us. And probably that's why we have an original approach to it. You know, it's not like we're trying to do something which is already done or trying to outdo something which is already done. I think folk is, again, like I said, it's a tale everyone is telling and everyone should tell it the way they want to tell. It shouldn't, uh, you know, it shouldn't corrupt that system. And that's why it's fun to listen to different renditions. In fact, her ghar ki line bhi alag hoti hai. a lot of houses sing it differently. Yeah. Her families sing it differently. And I think that's why it's fun. Yes, like, like who, like how is this each other? I think you think would be different, say, from your house to. Like house. I think, just say for example, I I've uh, you know wo, uh, I think the asmani out the diya hilve, asmani out the diya hilve, o tera keedi kudi o tu hilve lathe. I mean, I haven't heard it. I was saying honestly, yeah. Uh, ek nadi nahi the kande. I was just telling somebody that you know, usme abhi digital and folk tales. A lot of people have not heard those lines. Some of them, my nani kind of wrote it fresh for us because she'd also forgotten. She's old now, so she's forgotten. Or in Kala Doria, there's a line we sang that Sadi Galiya Maya Tenu Putte Lada Vange Kalwali Gali Da Tenu Maza Chakha Vange Kala Do. Who kisi ne suna nahi hai? Because wo mere ghar wale gaate hain ya mere mummy ne kisi se suna hai. Even Akash nahi hai. I mean, even though the original lyrics are written by Shiv Kumar Batalvi ji. Yeah, but my for some reason my parents, my mother was singing some other uh, version of it, and that's what I ended up doing. And discovered later that actually that's not the original lyrics. So uh, you know, like us make uh, majni. Uh, basically, they're comparing uh, the sister-in-law to a cow. <laughs> you know, because she's pulling her leg, and those lyrics are not really there in the original. So I think that's what I'm talking about. So that's why I don't like to corrupt my process because whatever comes from the innocence of my mother or her family, I kind of bring that forward. You know, uh, Adul Churamani, who was once heading uh, Magna Sound, he told me that, you know, folk song or folk music came from mother because it's your mother who tells you the folk tale and that's why what you said is right. Oh, he said that. So there you go. And I, and I know Atul very well. I started my career with him. But then he's right. That's exactly how I feel. So then please give us a few lines of Kutkut Bajra. Sure. So Kutkut Bajra also, what we did this time is we rewrote the whole lyrics. The original lyrics are actually the girl is complaining to her mother about her husband or lover and also about, you know, ki ye jo main kut -kut bajra chada rahi kote ke upar sare ka aayenge, usko uda so that part we kept and then we made it a bit of a push and pull between a man and a woman. So that's our version of it. 
कुट कुट बाजरा मैं कोठे उत्ते पानिया कुट कुट बाजरा मैं कोठे उत्ते पानिया चख लोंदा लोका नाल उस नु बुलानिया ओ सुने ना मेरी मैं ता फिर भी बुलानिया नखरे ओदे मैनु खा जानगे सानु दूना पवाड़ा पा जानगे सानु दूना पवाड़ा पा जानगे यू आल्सो बीन सिंगिंग अ लॉट ऑफ सॉन्ग्स इन तमिल एंड तेलुगु या as someone who's alien to this language and the culture does it make you nervous each time when you go behind the mic to sing a tamil song or a telugu song when well, yes it's a responsibility everyone's very attached to their language you know most people in our country since we're such a diverse and such a multilingual country everyone's very attached to their language so you want to be sure aur ye bhi hota na ki usually i like to sing in a flow but sometimes you you're like you close your eyes and then they're like are all the pronunciations are wrong So sometimes it's a uphill task, but I don't feel as nervous anymore. I actually look forward to it. It's really fun. I recently sang a Tamil song, which is not out yet, but I had sung a Tamil song after a very long time, and I just I forgot how much I actually enjoy singing other languages. But how easy, uh, how comfortable was it for you to sing in Tamil? The first time was a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, wh- uh, why am I doing this? How but then I just started you... doing it more often. It just became easier. Yeah. How many times you recorded that song? No, once, but it took me many hours. Like the first time I did it, and I, then I I had to do two songs because, uh, the music director really liked my voice, and there was a director passing by, and he heard my voice, and he said, "You have to do another song," and I was like, "Mat maadi gayi re." Ya aaye kyu am? Ek gana gana aaye the, but two gana. But that song became like the biggest hit of you and Shankar Raja. I mean, most loved song actually, and I won my first award for that song. So I like I said, I do believe in destiny sometimes a lot. Like I feel when things are supposed to happen for you. He yeah, a lot often they're not they fight a lot. I fight a lot. I know that, but I think when you don't fight, things happen for you more sometimes. I don't know. 